all right guys welcome back in this video we are going to be learning about programs and threads and if you are learning anything like asynchronous programming or concurrency or multi-threaded programming or maybe multi-processing you obviously need to understand the very core concepts of how these things happen and that's why we are going to be learning in this video about processes and how they are different from threads so what is a process anything that you make a program out of so for example if you write a python program or a c++ program when you run it it is known as a process and if you want to check your processes on a windows laptop for mac it's and linux is different but if you are on windows you can just press ctrl alt escape this will open up your task manager and you can see all the processes that are over here so for example we have a visual studio code over here and we have also a google chrome process there are multiple google chrome processes but visual studio code and google chrome don't share memory with each other and you can say that they both are isolated this prevents a lot of errors from happening inside your operating system such as deadlocking and i won't get into that but basically they are both isolated now what is a process basically made of now on the left hand side you can see an image and this is basically what a process contains it knows it contains something known as data which basically contains like global variables and static variables and files they are basically the files that are inside a program registers this is just temporary memory of your ram and stack this contains local variables but we won't get into them into a lot of depth because this is out of the scope of this video but it also contains something known as a code and which is executed using something known as a thread now a thread is inside a process and they can be a single thread or they can be multiple threads as you can see on the right hand side image now what exactly is a thread threads are a part of the process as we have seen in the last image and it helps in the execution of the code and one process can have multiple threads that can share memory with each other as you remember we talked about how different processes don't share memory with each other like visual studio code and google chrome don't share memory with each other they are isolated but one process can have multiple threads and they can share memory with each other so for example if you want to understand what a multi-threaded program is let's say you are in line for something let's say you're in a line to get movie tickets it's 90s or something and while you are in that line you also want to use your instagram and like somebody's picture now if it was just a single threaded program you won't be able to do both of them at the same time that is be in the line for the movie tickets and use your instagram at the same time but what you can do is do two tasks at the same time and this is done using multi threads so one thread is waiting in the line for the movie tickets and another thread is liking pictures on instagram and this is basically the concept of multi-threading and just to kind of give you the code of how to do it we won't get into that a lot but a little bit of an example of how we do it in python first of all we import this threading module which is already inside python so you don't need to import or install it and let's say we have an infinite loop which is inside this method of infinite loop and we have another method or function which prints out this build with python.com now what will happen if we both run this both of these functions so for example let's actually comment this out from here and let's call both of these functions so first of all we are going to call this infinite loop function and then we are going to call this my name function and let's run this program and see what happens now you can see that there is nothing happening because it's stuck the code is stuck inside inside this infinite while loop now what if you wanted to print the my name and at the same time do this infinite loop so let's actually close this out and remove these both of these methods and over here let's uncomment this and you can see that there are two threads this t1 and t2 and you can also think of them as doing tasks so the thread t1 is doing this infinite loop task and the t2 is doing this my name task and then we both basically start both of these threads and after we run it you'll be able to see that buildwithpython.com has been printed and at the same time the infinite loop is going on and that is why the program is not ending so guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to learn about synchronous and asynchronous programming and what is the difference between them so i'll see you over there